Hey guys, it's Snyder again. Welcome we'll back to another video, and today I'm back with another car wish list, or not car wish list. What? Am I drunk? No. Um, we're back with the just Need for Speed wish list, and this is going to be the second one. And this time I'm going to be talking about all drive and multiplayer and what I want from it. And but but first I'm going to explain. Uh, you know what all drive is and what annoyed me about it in the first few rivals and we now know that all drive is coming back in 2015 and let's just hope they do this a lot better um, I know that they aren't going to do this sort of stuff um, I mean these sort of things but I mean it would be cool to see it and it is my wish list, so of course they're not gonna you know listen to me 24 7 um, but yeah, so I'm going to explain what All Drive is. First off, uh, All Drive is basically a seamless multiplayer where you and your friends or other random people can be in the same session and be driving together and share the world together, uh, or share the map together, I mean. And, uh, it's just a seamless multiplayer. Like, if you do a race against AI, they're still going to be, like, you know, interfering with uh, if you're interfering with the race, so uh, that's the one thing that annoyed me about, about all drivers. I'm gonna just do a race mind my own business against some AI, and some random dude just comes along and shoots me with pursuit tech. And obviously, I don't think Need for Speed is going to have pursuit tech, but it's still really annoying having people interfere with you in the races and I know that's what all drive is like it's seamless multiplayer but I'm gonna be talking about that I'm not only gonna be talking about all drive but I'm also gonna be talking about some things I would like to see in the multiplayer as well so yeah let's get right into this alright so first off is the player limit so they have had a year and a half to make this game so I'm not expecting a large map but I'm not expecting something as small as Rivals. Um, you know, so I think the player limit should be raised from like 6 to I guess 10 or 12. You know, maybe 10, 12 is a little packed. Um, but say for example the map is about as big as Horizon, uh, then yeah, then have 12. But if this just going to be an ordinary map, just make it 10. Um, and then, so yeah, I don't know, I just thought 6 was like way, like, just not even enough uh, nowhere close to enough um, especially in this game uh, especially how like how connected you are going to be with the uh, other players you know as far as progression and just progressing through the game and whatnot um, so yeah I don't know I'd like to see a higher player limit as far as uh, having um, you know a certain amount of players inside of a, of a lobby Alright, so next up is going to be the private race session. So, I mean, what I mean by this is, say for example, I'm just cruising around in a seamless world, and I come up upon a, uh, a race, and I want to do this race. What I would like to see is a private session. So, it just swaps me my own private thing. No one can interfere with me. I'm in my own world. And once I'm done with that race, it spits me back out into the open world, the, the seamless open world, the all drive session that I was previously in before the race starts. That's what I would like to see from uh, from uh, all drive is, you know, so people can't interfere with me in the, the races, especially if they are not a part of the race that's one thing that really annoyed me about rivals is someone could just be coming along and just screw you up when they're not even in the race and they're just screwing up your chances of winning so yeah that's what i'd like to see uh and like even if you're with a friend you both can queue up if you're both in the same race start then you both go into your own private session like i said and once you finish the race you get spit back out into the open the seamless open world aka the all drive session that we were previously in before you started the event um but yeah all right so another thing that i would like to address is the i, I guess you'd call them events but not this isn't any ordinary event this is pink slips uh, i would love to see pink slips i don't think they've ever been in a racing game aside from midnight club and um most wanted but we all know that if you lose you don't lose your car um uh, except for, you know, the bosses, they lose their car, but yeah, so, um, 
that's one thing I would love to see, like, you know, I have a car that I immensely love, and then I just, I lose in a race, I lose that car, and I have to build my way back up and get that car back to where it was. I don't know, it, it seems really frustrating, but at the same time, it would be really cool to see. I would love to see pink slips. Uh, if you don't know what pink slip says, it's basically it's a wager. So if I win, you lose your car, you give it to me. But if I lose, you get my car and I don't get anything. So yeah, I would love to see that. And uh, you know, talking about giving cars to other people, selling cars should also be another option. There should be a market on the game where you could sell, trade, and buy cars from other people. Uh, you know. Or you could, you know, sell it to the actual game, like say, you know, in Need for Speed World, you sell your car and you just get money from it. Uh, you could do that as well. I'd like to see, you know, a little marketplace where you could sell and trade your cars to other people. Uh, that'd be really cool to see, uh, especially when, you know, it's, it's kind of like real life, you know, you get your car and say for example you don't want it anymore or you're trying to get more money you trade it in you get that money and you do whatever with it you know so that'd be pretty cool to see it's like a little you know a trading system or selling cars you know so yeah so one more thing that isn't really a part of the multiplayer i guess it is but is the cop probability so um in Need for speed rivals if you guys don't know this cops show up everywhere like if you do one race you're gonna run into a cop you're bound to run into a cop every single time i get it you're in a a city but i don't want to see cops around every corner just because well one that'd be annoying and two it just it just downgrades the suspense of actually going into a pursuit just because you're so used to you know going into police chases so yeah i think the cop probability should be trimmed down a little bit so like a, a 30 to 70 or 45 to uh, 65 uh, ratio uh, not so much like you know 45 to 65 is a little much like 45 percent cop probability I would like to say around 35 to 40 percent cop probability but that's just me uh, just because I would love to see like some pretty intense uh, pursuits and uh, you know it would also be really cool if the cops got a little bit of a boost in AI so if, say for example they're they're chasing the cop AI is chasing uh, someone else and they see you they're not gonna start that pursuit what they're going to do is this would be pretty cool this is way out of multiplayer this is talking about cop AI but uh, just talking about it I would like to see uh, say for example a cop is chasing another person in the lobby and they see you but they you know, you know they keep their focus on who they're you know chasing but they would call cops upon you if you were like doing an illegal act like you you know you were speeding or if you were you know doing some damage to property running into cars that sort of thing but if you're just sitting there like i said i wouldn't like to see you know if you're just sitting there they just call cops on you that wouldn't be really cool because what did you do to deserve you know the police on your ass you know you'd like I'm just sitting there minding my own business and all of a sudden a cop chases me like you have to do something in order for the police to chase you that's what that was one of my pet peeves in Need for Speed Rivals but yeah and we're going on to the last thing that's I guess again police related and that is evading cops so I think if you know you definitely do have hideouts in this next Need for Speed I think you should be only be able to go inside of your hideout once you're evading the cops so if the cops don't see you you should have the availability to go inside the hideout but if the cops are on your tail i don't really see the logic in that going inside of your hideout while the cops are on your ass uh just because there's no logic in that if anything if you compare it to real life which i know you shouldn't be comparing it for speed to real life but just think about it for a second if your cops are on your tail and you're going inside of a hideout you there's no way to get out of that. The cops are gonna go inside and they're gonna kill you. You know, they're gonna arrest you. So yeah, that's one thing I would like to see. Like, if you were to enter your hideout, I, I hope that you are uh, evading the cops and not, you know, they're not on your tail. But yeah, kind of got gone off topic with the cops thing at the end. But um, yeah, this is basically my multiplayer wish list slash, uh, you know, I guess a cop wish list. I don't know. I'd call it still an all drive slash multiplayer wish list. But anyways, guys, if you guys did enjoy this video, leave a like, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.